tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not. Ladies the and octagon gentlemen, will be fine for This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all waiting for live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out fighting. plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Lee's hook shot blocked, that one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Whiffs on that offer. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Just missed on the front kick there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! Head kick. Beautiful knee. Body by Lee. Out of range with that one. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the left there. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Hands high, hands high. Well, he's the taller fighter on the land and knee to the body with relative ease there. Just out of range with that strike. of his size as he lands the knee. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Switching stances here. Good punch lands. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at the turnover in that kick. Just misses there with the left. They continue to exchange. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice one, two there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Try to establish that jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, spinning back fist. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick land. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh, a huge block there. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick lands. Just misses with that one. Way to hide that leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lands to the body there. Beautiful punch. Yeah. 
Powerful leg kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Great punch landed with so much power. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just misses with the jet. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Big kick. Oh, nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Well, missed on that one. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Nice kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Head kick. 15 seconds. Beautiful body kick. Well placed knee to the body. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. And right, that's the three. end of round number two. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice straight punch. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, huge block! Again, going back to the jab just out of range. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. 
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. I mean, that right hand landed square. Big kick lands. Oh, it looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Ooh, what a head kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. He gets to the spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, man, how is he standing after he ate that knee? He has absorbed so many of them in this round, and now you can visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his opponent. Effective punch there by Lee. Head kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Straight punch lands. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, big head kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Flush right hand is true. Beautiful body kick. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big straight left. Blocks the shot. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice strike. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Right under the elbow, the body keep land. 
pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. What a body kick. Real quick leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in the zone. It's like a basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, what a punch. Leg kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Whoa, 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 as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice kick there by Lou. Misses with that punch. Right hand upstairs. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Visibly limping here. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, just misses with the kick. Under a minute to go. Nice body kick. Nice punch here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Goes to the body there. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. Walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Lee's well, shot is blocked. Let's go. We need to score that 15 seconds to go. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head off the center line and then rips back. How good is that right hand? All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. 
When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Liver kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. And punch is blocked. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Real nice body kick lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big body kick lands. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, slips and then rips. Beautifully done. Big kick land. Real sneaky body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Big body kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful kick. Nice leg kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Good punch. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Nice kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. That's a big strike right there. Big head kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. One minute to go in the fight. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall. Let's watch guys now fight behind the jab. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. 
Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49-46. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon.